Hello everybody and welcome to my channel or if you've been here before and you've come back for more welcome back. This week as you can see we will be doing this rather sparkly party look inspired by the glorious Make Me Up Missa and save time now by liking this video, subscribing if you haven't already and thinking about maybe possibly popping over to my Kofi page to buy me a coffee. That would be great. So I know that some of you like this, so I'm going to say it anyway. Without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So off we go. And this week is really no different to any other week. I've got my KVD Locket foundation on. I've got my lovely Crow and Pebble blush and various other things. So I was, let me just get the right brush. I was watching, as is my want, Make Me Up Missa um, the other week. And she was doing what she called a very simple look, which could be used for a Christmas party or New Year's Eve party or any sort of party really. And the great thing about it was that you could do it in any color, any color at all. She did hers in blue and I thought, you know, I think I could do a version of that that some of my elder goths and baby bats could use for if they've got any parties coming up over the yuletide period. So I put some, It's it keeps getting washed off. Can anyone recommend a very good white uh, waterline liner please? Because all the ones I try just wash off. And I did put a little bit of purple at the front of my waterline just here and that is my Essence Long Lasting Coal Liner I think it is. Yeah, coal pencil um, in some sort of purple shade which I can't see because it's so small. So I'll put a little bit more here. There we go. And I was just priming my eye with some white eye base just really to give um, the color something to pop against and yes after the debacle that was the Dobby the house elf uh, washi tape <laughs> incident I have got finally got some proper uh, what's it called micro tape medical micro tape and I'm going to put this, just try and get it at the right angle, here. And, is that there, there? Well, it'll just have to do. So yeah, so she, as I say, she was doing this in blue colors and I'm gonna do it in, surprise, surprise, purple colors. So the first thing I did was I got a soft black pencil and just started to take it along the edge of the tape. And the thing with this is it doesn't really matter how you do it because it's going to be blended out momentarily anyway. And then take it along here as far as you want across. You can obviously put a little bit underneath if you've got the acreage to do it. So we'll just take that out there a bit like that. And for this video and for this eye look, I am debuting this little palette that I won it's called Hershey's Kisses Special Dark Mildly Sweet Chocolate Palette by Glam Light. And I won this from your friend and mine, Nightmare Bliss. I'll link her channel and I'll link Mrs. channel, of course, as well. Now, it's not 
the purpliest purples that I could um, tell you about because the darkest colour in here is like a sort of dark blue colour and if you start putting that on you can see it's sort of a dark very dark blue but it's definitely a blue so once I'd found out that that was blue I thought right okay what have we got next the next one is a sort of dusty sort of purplish colour so put a bit of that on um, but then I thought you know what if we're going to be purple we're going to be purple so different brush where is it here it is this is a Jessup 230 Lux pencil it's just a little small um, round headed pencil like that and these are the whoops let me just cover the mirror up these are the colours in this little palette so you can see them there's a couple of um, shimmers and four mattes so we're, we're now going for this one here and we're just gonna put that above the dark so just take it like that there we go and I will also put some in my lower lash line I'll use the dark brush and go along there as well there we go and as I say this is the time of year that people do tend to go to parties more than any other time of year and so I think it would be very nice to turn up with something like this um, there's a very pale purpley pink in here so I'm going to use this to get everything blended out more satisfactorily like this and I can take it down here take it up here and just make a sort of because if you've got say a party dress or a party outfit um, if you're not a dress sort of person the last thing you want to do is make people just concentrate on your makeup and ignore your outfit so with this you can do um, a number of things you can put a, a fabulous face on but it's not going to overshadow your outfit um, which you know could be annoying so we've, we've got that far and as you can see it's not taken terribly long um, I meant to start the timer off <laughs> which I will do now and I don't know how long that's been let me look at the camera doesn't say no doesn't say but there we go so we'll take this over here and to make this a little bit different we get our pencil that we had before and try to make a shape I've lined it up with the center of my eye and then just gone a little bit past so it's sort of in line with the outer edge of my blue iris iris I think so and then don't take it to the very end of the wing just take it to almost the end of the wing now what I should really be using here is a gel liner but I haven't got one would you believe it of all the things that I've got and I've got some things I haven't got a gel liner and I haven't bought one because I sort of am thinking at the moment and 
if you follow me on my Instagram, you'll have seen my Black Friday post saying, use what you have, reuse, repair, repair, or just, you know, find things to use. So I'm trying to use what I've got rather than buy things at the moment. And hopefully next year, my palette no buy will extend to a makeup altogether no buy. Um, obviously things that run out like mascara, concealer, that sort of thing that run out, I will replace and eyeliner because those Barry M black um, waterproof eyeliners, they just not go down quickly. Anyway, so I'm going to try and not buy anything new, which is going to be difficult because obviously there's some lovely new things around. Right, so I'm taking that purple colour again on that little brush and going above the line, trying to just blend it upwards, like so, and then taking that fluffy brush with the pale colour still on it and blending that upwards. Then I'm going back with my white base, taking a very small brush and just the tiniest, tiniest amount and just going along underneath just to try and sharpen that line underneath. I am rubbish at these tiny things. I don't know about you, but you watch people on YouTube and they're just like so good at it and I, I just find it really difficult. I am going to blame the fact that my skin has no elasticity or tautness to it. Whether that's the actual reason, I don't know. I've got a feeling it is, but... Stand by. Ooh, there we go. I'll just go back in here and put a bit of colour there. And a little bit here, because I've just realised I've missed out a whole bit down here. Okay, so make sure that you get your blend how you want it. I mean, I haven't got gone wildly high, but of course you can take it as high as you like. And if you have got a gel liner, well, you're going to be making much less of a pig's ear of this than I am. Um, where's that? There it is. Just a little bit of fluffle on there and there we are put a little bit of dark on the bottom just to try and match it with the other eye and now you i'll just put the lid on that the thing that missa had on her video that i sort of squealed with delight and said "Ooh, i've got one of those is the kimchi Pearls Gone Wild highlighter, which seems to have a cat hair in it. Um, and I take a very small brush, a very small brush, and I start patting it. There we go. All over. You can use your finger, you can use a small brush. Probably finger might be better because I'm getting some lumps here, but let's put a little bit there. The effect is quite, quite magical. I've also got here um, a little bit of Mermaids by Peaches and Cream, which is a loose glitter. And this has got a lovely sort of white blue 
reflect to it there see look at that that's beautiful isn't it so put a little bit of that on top as well and then go in with um, my KVD tattoo liner which of course is the greatest point has got the greatest point on it ever and just do this so I'm just gonna <gasps> And that's not bad. So the next thing to do is the deeply um, satisfying pulling off of the tape. Now on the other side I did push it down a bit hard I think and it did pull off most of my foundation <laughs> but you can always go over that and look at that line. I mean is that not incredibly satisfying to see yes it is and the next thing which is you know almost as much fun is to put the gems on and I've got a little box of gems here which I bought from Amazon some time ago and they came with a China graph pencil for picking them up and I'm going to be using a little bit of facial glue, but you can use eyelash glue or whatever you like. And I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six black ones and two um, silver ones. So I won't say anything. I'll speed this up and you can see how easy this comes together. There we are. So there's the gem, well, most of the gems on. I did do like a little cross here and I'm gonna do one on this side, but obviously going in the opposite direction. Whoops, not that end, this end. And try to get a nice point on it. There, that's nice. And again, I put a gem in the centre of that one. And I think just for, a, you know, a laugh, I'll change up the colour and go on there and get a purple one. And of course, sort out this lower lash line. using all the colours that we used before the nice um, purpley purple and a little bit of the dark purple on a very flat brush just getting it like that and to be fair that's a basically the height of it um, you can use as much or as little glitter as you want I will put my lash on in a moment but I thought we'd do our lips together so I've got my wonderful Black Moon Cosmetics um, Sleepwalker Black so I'll just put that on so there's that and as I always say black is nude for goths so we'll give it as it's a party we'll give it one of these It's so cute. And can we do without glitter? No, I don't think we can. Glitter Goals by NYX in Amethyst. Just to give a hint. And I will pop off, put the other lash on and come back and you can see what I think about it. So there we are then. A party look that you can do with any colour. I was tempted to do green to be fair but then I thought no purple. Um, I may do a green one at some stage. Who knows? I hope you all have a go because as you can see it didn't take very long. I think it took about somewhere in the region of 15 to 20 minutes um, but then 
I couldn't really see the timer from where I was. So that didn't work out very well. Um, it's a quick look. I've put a little bit of this sort of vague pink um, cloudiness around the lip to make it more gothy than normal. Uh, normal people, that is not normal for me. And I really, really hope you have a go. In the meantime, shop your stash, use what you have, and in the spirit of making things that you find, I wonder if you noticed this lovely earring I've been wearing today. I made it out of a tiny little feather that Mr. Wilkes found for me when we were on a walk once. He picked it up and it's a tiny, tiny, perfectly formed feather, a miniature version of a tail feather or something like that. And I turned it into an earring because why wouldn't I? Yeah, make, repair, mend. Find what you have and go with it. Um, and that way you'll save a lot of money and you'll be able to spend it when you've got lots and you might need it for an emergency or something important. Thanks very much for watching everybody. I really appreciate all the lovely comments you leave and of course all the suggestions for videos which I will be coming back to of course just now and again I think of something myself and I get to do that. Have a wonderful rest of your day slash evening slash week. Look after all the animals and lovely living things wherever you are and however few they may be and don't forget everybody all around the world wherever you are Stay strange. Bye for now, everybody. See you next time.